There were a number of dealers and who uh, recently got tagged for not having uh, federal buyer's guides in the windows of vehicles that are offered for sale. I mean, it's a very basic thing that you gotta do, but if you don't know to do it, uh, you know, that's a, that's a major problem. It's a CID, a Civil Investigative Demand. So that's kind of like a subpoena on steroids. That's when they ask you a whole litany of questions. The first question that they're gonna ask you is, tell me all about your compliance program. Tell me about all your policies and procedures to ensure that your dealership is in compliance. That'll be one of the first questions they ask. A civil investigative demand, that's right, known amongst the CFPB insiders as a CID. If you're a car dealer, I'm sure you know. And if not, then the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau is something you need to learn about. But they'll, they're not going to limit their questions just to that because they're essentially doing something a little bit of probably of a fishing expedition. They want to see if there's any other problems in there. So they'll give you this CID. They'll take the, you'll have to respond to it, and it's incredibly expensive to respond to CIDs. If you're a little confused with what to do, well, you're not alone. So I guess initially what we heard during the conferencing was that there was some confusion and also misunderstanding or lack of understanding of several compliance issues, whether it was health, health care, there seemed to be a lot of confusion. In spite of that, there were several uh, lawyers, several presentations that attempted to clarify that. How everybody's got to be compliant with it and the institutions and who's required and the coverage and percentages and uh, just a couple of the, the legislation issues on, on what they're looking it at. It seems many people are not having an easy time keeping up with compliance. What is it that you're hearing here at NIADA? What's the buzz, uh, that, uh, things that dealers are concerned about wanting to get more information on, uh, you know, both you and your fellow dealers? Well, dealers are here to learn about compliance and make sure that they're compliant. Coming to this conference gives you the information to keep yourself up to date on all the compliance uh, issues uh, that are confronted uh, with dealers every day. So you need to, this is a need to know place to be. You need to be here so you can know. The only real bit of advice you should take away from this video about compliance is understand where you need to be compliance wise make sure you have a compliance officer mm -hmm. and if you don't have a compliance officer as a dealer guess what you're it